The remains of 10 indigenous children who were buried on the Carlisle Barracks grounds have now been disinterred and returned to their rightful families. Fox 43's Jamie Bittner talks with those involved with the long process of returning them to their native lands. This experience and being part of this it's so much bigger than me. It's so much bigger than, than any of us on the team. The bodies of 10 children once buried in these graves are now heading back to where they rightfully belong. It's, it's something that we're doing that's for our nation. Um, it's something that we're doing for the world. And, and the enormity of that um, over the years has, has really uh, struck me. The experts who painstakingly disinterred the grave sites noticeably moved by the process as they worked hand in hand with the tribes of the children involved. Invested in returning the children of the Rosebud Sioux and the Elliott villagers. More than 100 years ago, children were sent to the Carlisle Indian Industrial School to learn to assimilate into white society. Some students at the school died, often from tuberculosis, yet the cause of death of the 10 children disinterned has not been investigated. In addition to the 10 children whose remains were returned, another separate set of remains was also found in the effort. But who that child may be is a mystery. These unknown remains we're from an 11 to 14 year old child, sex unknown. But the job here at the Carlisle Barracks is far from over. There are still 164 grave sites at this location, 14 of those remains unidentified. We do have uh, some idea of potentially who some of the, the 14 unknowns are, but it will take a larger collective uh, agreement with the tribes. Of the 10 that were disinterred, nine remains are now heading to South Dakota. The 10th taken to Alaska, a moment all involve hope will provide healing for the families involved. This experience has allowed me to grow into realizing that I have a role to play, that I that I have a part to play, um, that I'm part of something that that's meaningful. In Carlisle, Cumberland County, Jamie Bittner, Fox 43 News.